Welcome back, Odors. My name is Jose Ignacio. Surveys are essential tools for gathering valuable information, and organizing questions into sections can significantly improve the clarity and usefulness of the collected data. In this video, I'm going to teach you about all the different question types and options available in Odoo surveys and how to organize them into sections. So enough chit chat, let's explore how to create and organize questions and sections using the Odoo surveys app. In order to illustrate this, let's use an employee appraisal form over here as an example. So to add a question to this survey, we're going to be inside of our questions tab over here and then select add a question below. Now on this pop up, you'll notice a question field, a question type, and then we have a bunch of tabs down below. We have answers, description and options over here. Keep in mind the options available in these tabs and even the tabs themselves may differ or disappear completely depending on the question type selected. For example, if a question type provides answer options to the participant, the answers tab is available. But if a custom response is something that is required to answer a question type, like if we select mul multiple lines text box over here, look at that, it's disappeared. We just have a description now. And then for example, anything related to a number by selecting the numerical value one, well, it also disappears right there. For now, we're gonna leave it on multiple choice only one answer. It should also be noted that regardless of the question type, the description tab will always be available and will always be the same. So be sure to take advantage of that tab. If you feel like a detailed description of the question is necessary to help your participants provide their own answer. And that way you can get what you're looking for. But right now let's click back over to our answers tab over here. Okay, let's redirect our attention to the top of the pop up form again, because I've forgotten something I need to enter a question. For example, let's enter the question. How satisfied are you with management communication? Hmm. A very hot topic these days, I would say so. And it is a question that Jose Ignacio ponders as well. After we have our question, it's time to determine which question type is most suitable. Fortunately, a sample of each type is shown over here to the right. Thanks, Odoo. That way we can better visualize how it's going to appear to our participants. All right. Now, I think it's time for us to go through some of these. So we have our default multiple choice, only one answer, which is pretty standard. Then there's multiple choice, multiple answers allowed, which allows participants to choose more than one. And I'm showing my hand for that of the provided answer options. Next, we have multiple lines text box, which lets participants type in a multi-line response to the question without restricting them to any predetermined answer options. Then we also have the single line text box, which is basically the same, but if we click back to the answers tab, you'll notice the response with this type should be short, like an email username or something like these. Next, we have numerical value. And this type is for answers requiring a numerical answer. It's kind of straightforward as well. We have the scale type, and this lets participants select a number on a scale. And you can see that over here on our answers tab once again. Questions for this one, as you can see, like how likely are you to so and so? Because then you can label them not likely, neutral, extremely likely, that type of thing, you know. All right, then we have the dates and also date time question. These types are similar, but the date time looks for a specific time in addition to a specific date for the response. Finally, I know what you're saying. Thank you, Jose, for going through all of these. Matrix. Now, this is when, well, actually, let's click back to our answers tab. So, matrix, when we click over here to our answers tab, you'll see that Odoo provides choices and rows as well as answers options for participants. Now, this question type is useful for questions that request a series of responses and or rankings from participants. For example, if the question was something like, how do you feel about these aspects of your job? The choice options could be like, dislike, like, and love, and maybe hate. <laughs> and the row options could be different things like products, like meetings, sales calls, one-on-ones with a manager. But for this video, let's reselect multiple choices, only one answer, just for our own sanity. All right, so with our question and question type selected, we can focus on the answers tab. So to add answers over here as options for this question type, we're going to select add a line over here under choices. All right, then we proceed to type in our, our well, actually, our basic answers. I mean, for this one, how satisfied are you with management communication? 
yes for our first one. You'll notice that we also have the option to upload a file over here, such as an image to accompany the answer options as well if needed, but I'm not gonna do that. But once you have your answer option entered, you can actually hit enter or return on your keyboard to lock it in and instantly add another one. So let's type in no. All right, that's our second one. And you can just keep doing this and keep going until all the desired answered options are entered. Let's click enter one more time and then put sometimes for our third option. And now we're gonna click away over here. You can modify or delete these answers options at any time. You can also move them around if you'd like to. Move them up, I'm gonna put this between them. Okay, so before we save, we still have a couple more things to cover. We already know the description tab is the same no matter what. So let's take a quick look at the options tab that we have. Over here, we have options for both, in our case, conditional displays, like over here on the right, and live sessions. We have videos that go over both of these features in more detail. I'm gonna link them below so that you can check those out. And then over here in our constraints section, you can choose to make this question mandatory for the participant to answer by ticking this little checkbox right there and selecting it. And if you do another field appears, which also happens to be a custom error message, and that happens to be shown to the participant informing them that this question must be answered. For example, we could type, you must answer this question. Emphasis, maybe an exclamation, okay. So that brings us back to the ever-changing answer section. Now, as I alluded to before, the options available in the options tab, specifically in the answer section, change depending on the selected question type. Now, for both multiple choice question types, you can choose to show comments field with the answer options. And when that box is ticked, two other ones appear. We have comment message and comment is an answer. This comes in handy if one of the multiple choice answer options is open-ended, like other or something like that. Then the comment message can be something like, if other, please specify, and the participant would fill in their custom answer in the provided field. You can also choose to designate whether or not you'd like to accept that comment as a valid answer by ticking the checkbox comment is an answer right there. If the matrix option question type is selected for this, well, those options are still present in the answer section along with a matrix type field. If we actually click the matrix type that we had over here, I can choose to have the participant enter one choice per row, as you can see there or multiple choices per row, if I'd like, between each of them. If multiple lines text box is selected, well, we have a placeholder field in which some custom text can be entered to guide the participants towards the right answer by letting them know what they're expected to write. If single line text box is selected, an additional validate entry checkbox appears right there. Now, when that box is ticked, two more additional Additional fields appear in which min max limits can be configured along with a custom validation error message that would appear if the participant's answer is not valid. Those same options are present for the numerical value, as you can tell right there, dates and date time types as well. But we're going to reselect our original multiple choice only one answer option over there, and we're going to hit. Well, actually, I forgot about my little comment field. If other specify, comment is an answer. Okay, there we go. Save and close. And that's how you create and customize a question for a survey. Now back on the survey form, we'll find our new question down here at the bottom of the list. And we can click those six little dots and move it around if we'd like to. And then we can put it anywhere we want on the survey. For example, I'm gonna click beside these once again. And this time I'm gonna move it around once again but I'm just gonna leave it at the end. All right, but what if we want to add another section? All we have to do is click add a section and then we start typing like, in this case, manager assessment. All right, and then let's click away. And now we can drag this. And just like that, we have it all set to go. With the questions and sections set up in the main survey forms options tab, 
we can even select something else to make it a little bit easier for us to get something like question selection, randomize per section. Then when we go back to our questions tab over here, we could see the number of questions randomly picked column. This is a very important one for that. It's a pretty long one, so you can see it right there. So on our section lines that we have over here, under that column, we can choose how many questions in that particular section should be randomly selected for participants taking the survey. For instance, let's change the one that we have over here in our general ones to three, and then we can just click away. Oh, and we actually need a title for this one right there. All right, there we go. And that was very, very easy and gives every survey a very nice, unique look. And that's it, Odooers. That's how easy it is to add and customize questions and sections using Odoo surveys. Be sure to check out our other tutorials for more tips and tricks. See you later, survey taker. Go grab a snack. Go talk to your manager. Go have a one-on-one -on -one next to a lake, perhaps eating a chicken salad sandwich.